Operation Off Shop. Um, so I got the idea for this sort of series when um, I was actually at Fountain Gate. I was looking for some stuff for a cosplay and I was just looking and then I was having a break. I was looking at some bookstores and looking at the manga and I was like, oh, this is really cool. I have a lot that I want, but it's hella expensive. So I bought some anyway, some of my SAOs, and I was like, okay, now I have to start collecting it. Because as, as you know, I got into um, all things Japanese this year. I was very excited. Anyway. So, um, and then I went to the op shop to look for some more things for my cosplay and I was like, oh, imagine if they sold like anime and manga here, like that would be crazy because it'd be like pretty cheap, right? Or much cheaper than it is in stores because I guess it costs a lot to import it. Anyway, and so I went to Zabers, which is, if you don't know, it's a massive op shop and I, did, I didn't find one of my cosplay. So like, all right, I'll have a quick look. Didn't find an anime, didn't find any manga, and I was like, oh, oh, well, I wasn't really expecting to find any. Anyway, so then I went to another op shop in Big Hit to the Salvos, just again to look for stuff for cosplay, and then um, didn't find any. I was like, all right, I'll have a quick look at the books and the and the um, uh, DVDs. And so I'm like looking through the book sections, and I was like, I, I so wish I was filming myself, because spoiler alert, I found some, I found some manga, because I just saw like, like a little, like a, a drawing, and I was like, hang on. And then it was, um, crazily enough, they had heat. I had more than, I bought, there was three that I bought that, um, here. And so, yeah, I bought them. And they were $3, right? And they had a sale on books 50% off. So each one was only $1.50, which just got me so shook. And so I'm like, oh my goodness, like what else? What? And then, so then I checked the DVDs again and I found like an anime movie. I didn't buy it just because I wasn't interested in it. But like, I was like, oh my gosh. Mm. So yeah, I thought, well, what other topics could I like have as a goal to find at op shops? And so then I might do one a week, probably one every two weeks. So this week is going to continue this Wednesday because today is Monday. This week is going to be manga and anime. I'm going to see if I can find more of that in the surrounding areas, the, shop, the op shops in the surrounding areas. So anyway, that's the goal. <laughs> so I just thought this would be fun to do. And so if you guys love op, op shopping as much as I do, hit me up and then we, you can come with me and we can op shop and just find things because it was honestly the most exciting thing when I found it and then I just kept finding more and more. I was like, oh my goodness, I was so shocked. Anyways, so yeah, enjoy. Okay, welcome back to Operation Op Shop. I'm not used to parking in the middle of the driveway and it's messed up my coordination. Anyway, so... Operation Op Shop. What's their mission? The mission is to find some anime and some manga. I've got five op shops lined up for today. So hopefully we'll find some. That's the mission. I just, I was going to leave a bit earlier. And then I was watching ReZero and I got caught up. So I actually, just, I just ended up finishing it. So I watched five episodes, I think, this morning. Now it's the afternoon. Anyway, what a show. That was good. Um, I don't want to spoil it for anyone because you should all watch it. Um, but the end of episode 19... So you, you guys have watched it, you know I'm talking about the bit where they're just waiting, that's all I say. That was like so freaking dope. Anyway, so we're gonna head off now and let us let us let's go. I'm excited. Let's see what we find. I'm really keen. I'm very curious to see if I will find any more of what I'm looking for. So let's go. Okay, so we just got to say this. Our first stop of the day. Here we are. Um really cold today. I wasn't expecting that because it's been such nice weather lately but I should grab my wallet in case we do find something. Um, so we have we tried Savers once off camera before before this episode so I didn't find anything but Savers does boast that they get like a thousand new products every day or something I'm not sure it's probably the biggest op shop that we're going to visit so in that sense this should be our best chance to find something so let's get in there. You're gonna be kidding me. We're already, I don't want to buy it, but we're already we're already cooking. We're cooking with gas. 
<laughs> I think the trick is you gotta look for the madman symbol because that's how I found Astro Boy straight away. <laughs> Oh, Saddle Club! What? Saddle Club is dope. Oh man, Bridget Air Pizza, sad movie. Oh! Okay, well, that's two. We found two anime DVDs so far, but. Look at that. So we found two, which wasn't as surprising. What's more hard is going to be finding the manga, I think. That'll be the big win. Because they have these books, right? They're not They're not in English. So I don't know. They're just just books. So it doesn't really count. There's a Shaun the Shape David in here. So we want manga that's in English. So these don't count. But that was pretty funny that we found it now. Straight away. Now, the other off shop, I found it in the kids section. So we're going to try the kids section. Don't tell me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. says manga sale, but not for sale, but we found some. Okay, so I was in the queue for longer than I was actually in the store, but that was partly my fault because I left my uh, bank card in the car. So, that was mildly successful. Um, that being said, the two anime that we found were Astro Boy and Pokemon, so like... Anyway, um, pretty pretty white, pretty white. And also the uh, the manga that I got is actually a manga sampler. So it doesn't technically count. It also says not for sale on it. But um, so it's still it's still cool. It's very exciting. So yeah, mild success. We're gonna head over to the next store now and see if we can. Also, my GoPro is being a butt. It just is being weird. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to continue videoing with it. We'll see. Anyway, we'll just use it till it dies. But anyway, let's keep going. Okay, we now at the Salvo in on Web Street. Here we are. Um, this is a significantly uh, smaller shop than Save It's like. I don't know if you can't see it from here, but it's very, very little. So, chances of success are low. Also, I'm not sure if I'm lying about the camera, but we'll find out when we get there. So, let's see inside. Like. Ah, oh, DVD is cool. Um, I'm not sure why they put it in manga with the children's books, because it's definitely not always for children, but we'll do that first. I'm a bit off. I wasn't expecting to. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't look. Oh, no. Alright. I didn't think so. Let's look at the DVDs. Let's see if we can't find the anime. Nah, no dice. So, Salvo is a bit of a bust. Wasn't expecting to find anything, but, um,. It's still definitely disappointing because it was such a good spot. There was no one there. Felt I could video unjudged, but anyway, we're gonna head over to we're gonna head down to Pakenham now, and which is a very white area. So is Beaky where I found the first ones. Anyway, so you never know who's donating what. So we're gonna head down there now. Let's go. I'm excited. We're gonna we're gonna find some more. We're gonna find some more. So we just arrived at Paki. Two things happened. It's not called the Salvos anymore. It's called Re Re Rima. And two, the other upshot that was here is gone. So there's only one now. So we're not going to hit five today, which means we're going to have to hit another one because I want to hit five. I suppose that five is a nice round number. So we'll hit another one in Berwick when we get back there. So anyway, we'll just go in here and see. And this is pretty exciting. Hopefully you find some more. Let's go. The soft shop is actually bigger than I remember. Oh, I can't go around this way. It's also pretty empty and it's also pretty expensive. Alright. They have a massive DVD section. Crap. Alright, let's start with this first then. My legs are so sore. So. Alright. That was very disappointing because that was the most, the biggest section we've had. But look how cute this big section is. It's, they put the kids' books in the toys for some reason. These all look like picture books. Yeah, this won't do at all. I had high hopes for this op shop. Oh, you never know. So the quick squeeze. But we've got to see. So. That 
that was legitimately very disappointing. That op shop was huge. Like I think that's the biggest DVD section I've seen. Much bigger than Savers and yet nothing. So we're going to see if there's any more op shops in Paki. Since because this building just here that used to be another op shop. It's not anymore. So let's go have a bit of a look. Okay, we made it to Vinny's, which is, we got the best car park you could possibly get. And I didn't have to parallel park either, so that's two wins. So we're going to go in, see what we can find. I don't have high hopes because it's very little, but you never know. You never know what people donate, so let's have a look. I just saw the word attack. It feels like attack on time. So Pakenham really was a bust. Two op shops. But decent potential had nothing. We're back at Sa the Salvos and Beacon now, where this all began. So, look at it in its glory. The Salvos. The better Salvos, hopefully. All right, let's have a look. <gasps> no, I'm just kidding. This is one I found already, but... not doesn't really... doesn't count, but... <laughs> Let's have that look. Maybe some more will donate it. <gasps> Don't tell me. No, I found this one as well. <laughs> See, they had a lot, right? Have they had any more is the question. If it is. <gasps> well, actually, like, hang on. So, we actually... There's two. There's actually two. I don't, oh, this is like, I don't know what show this is. Bakugan Battle Ballers. It looks like they can see, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna buy it because it's probably four and six, but. Check out Beaconsfield, just the, the cultural hub. Oh, my thighs. <laughs> Here we go. Another one. Junkers come here. It's about my dog. This is cute. I might get this one. Alright, look at that. So, Salvas and Beaky came through a little bit actually, um, surprisingly. The same manga we found was still there, so that doesn't count as a new manga. I'll still add it, add it to the tally at the end of the video because we, um, yeah. But also found some, some new anime that was there that I didn't see on, on Monday. So that's pretty exciting. So who knew? Biki was just the cultural, the, the Japanese hub of uh, the Southeast. Um, so that's been five stores. I'm going to go through Birika on the, on the way home. So I know of two more little op shops. So I might as well check them for some bonus footage. I don't think they'll have any, but we'll check anyway. All right, so we're about to hit our smallest op shop, which that's why it's too hard to bonus around. It's in Beric. It's, yeah, very little. Um, I'm pretty sure they don't do card either, so I'm going to get all of the coins out of my car in case they do. Because I'm being optimistic, but we're not going to anything. I wasn't sure if it was even going to be open as that little look. This is it right here. It's very, very small. So let's see. So that was a colossal waste of time. <laughs> it's been less than 90 seconds. It's got even smaller than I realised. There's no DVD section anymore. The book section was about, they had maybe two shelves worth, not even. So. Okay, so last time you saw me, I was just leaving the Berry Gop shop. I, um, I went to the other one. That was closed. It was closed. I had a very uncomfortable, awkward interaction with the owner. Um, anyway, so that's the end. Uh, so to answer the question, can you do op shops in the southeast sell anime and manga? I mean, yes and no. Yes, we did find some. Some stores, most stores, didn't have any at all. It's like I had a conversation about it with um, one of the store people at, at the Saves and Beaky on Monday. It's like it all depends on what people donate. So it's more about the demographic of the region. It's a big word for me. Um, anyway, so that was pretty fun. I enjoyed that. We didn't find as much. I We found more than I thought I did was going to. That was in English. Anyway, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, if you got any ideas, if you have an op shop mission, you want to you wanna join the operation, operation op shop, hit me up and we'll go, we'll go do some op shopping. So again, thank you for watching and uh, peace out.